If you've watched my last video about five things you need to know about Xamarin Forms 5, um, then you know already a lot. But in the comments, as I ask you to in every video, there has been a couple of questions um, surrounding that. And as I was typing my answers, I was like, why not create another video to take away all your doubts and answer all your questions? So this is that video. Stay tuned. And before we go any further, I need to thank Homero Lara. Um, I hope I pronounced that correctly because he has joined my membership program. That is something that you can do now on this channel if you want to support me a little bit. Um, you can join the channel as a member for a small fee and that will give you some perks. And just like Homero, you can get a shout out in this video. So here you go, Homero, this one's for you. So this is the first comment I want to talk about. And there's a lot to unpack here, um, but let's just start section by section. We'll go through it and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. I don't know everything as well. Um, it has been a while since I was on Xamarin Forms team, but I'm still in close contact following their every move. I'm watching you, um, but you know, I'll, I'll, I don't know everything. So let's just start with the first one. On the topic by Xamarin Forms, what about MVVM versus MVU? Will we see an evolution of the structural design pattern in Maui? So like I said, um, nothing will be taken away from you. Everything will still be in there. I think the first focus is going to be, you know, rewrite the whole Xamarin Form stuff with the learnings that they have um, uh, taken from all the years in Xamarin Forms. They're going to take that, rewrite all the things, um, especially like in the renderer section. Um, in the past weekend, there has been the Monkey Fest conference, which is completely online, of course. I'm hoping, I didn't see the sessions yet, uh, the recordings, I'm hoping the sessions will become available afterwards. Uh, there's one session in particular by um, Javier, he, who is on the Xamarin Forms team, and he's talking about handlers. I think that is like the new hot thing in, in the renderer world. Um, so go check that out. I think his slides are already available. I will link them below in the video description. Um, but you can go check that out, and that will already Already give you a glimpse of how the stuff will work in .NET MAUI. Um, so, and you can, in fact, go out to the repo and check out what code is there right now. Um, what is the team doing? How does that look? And how is that going to fit into your project? So, back to the question: Is there going to be like some evolvement, structural design pattern um, evolution going on with MVVM? MVVM is MVVM, right? I mean, the pattern's not going to change, so maybe they will add some things to make it a little bit easier, but you know, there is also a couple of great frameworks that do that. Prism, Fresh MVVM, Tiny MVVM, MVVM Lite, all the things with MVVM in it, basically, you name it. And I think .NET MAUI should focus on um, creating great looking apps, uh, native apps, and not so much on like what kind of design pattern you want to use. So, and especially with opening up to like more um, design patterns, so MVU coming in as well, maybe some other option later on, maybe some other option provided by the community. Um, so I, I think it's unlikely that they will add like more features to support the MVVM way of doing things more uh, because it's, you know, they're opening up to other design patterns now. So um, it's not up to them how you want to code, it's just up to them how to, to make it as easy as possible for you to create those cross-platform apps. So next question slash comment in this thing, um, I assume MVVM will always be an option. Yes, definitely. So like I said, I think many times before, nothing will be taken away from you. Everything will stay in the box. Um, it, it will just work as you're used to today. None of your knowledge, none of your efforts are going to waste. There will be a transition path. The team wants you to use this product. The team wants you to transition to .NET MAUI. So they are going to make that as easy as possible. Yes, there will be changes. Yes, there will be breaking changes. Uh, but you know, it will be easy to transition for you. It will be a little bit painful, probably, yes, but um, you know, that, that makes our job interesting, right? Um, well, okay, that's that's not entirely true, but um, nothing is taken away. So MVVM, XAML, all those things will just stay inside of .NET MAUI, just as it is today. And as a continuation of that, um, is it fleshed out what MVU will look like? Well, I don't think it's fleshed out entirely, um, but it will be based on Comet, the great work of James Clancy. Um, link in the video description below, because there's also been a couple of sessions around that already. There is a repository where you can see what's going on. I think if you're like a purist, then it's not technically 
very MVU. It, it's a little bit different, but you know, um, it's going to be MVU. And like I said earlier in this video as well, um, there might be the other design patterns that are hip and happening by the time that we get there. Uh, maybe, you know, with the opening up of this um, .NET MAUI platform, um, it will be pluggable by things from the community. Who knows? Uh, there's also, of course, like the C-sharp markup stuff, which is technically, of course, not like related to MVVM or MVU. So long story short, I think that is yet to be decided. So still on the same comment, I said there's a lot of to unpack here. Um, I am still developing new projects in Xamarin Forms with Prism. Um, how easily will the migration be? So like I mentioned a minute ago, migration will be as easy as possible. No one knows what that looks like yet, um, but you know, there will be a migration path and they will make it as friction free as possible um, because you know, they believe in their product and they want you to use it. So um, it should be yeah, it, as easy as possible. I mean, that can mean anything, right? It can be like going through a bulk rename, rename all um, Xamarin Forms namespace to .NET MAUI namespace. Um, that's probably not going to be the case. This is going to be like the, the best case scenario. Um, worst case scenario, you know, you have to go through every file in your project and um, edit some things there as well. Um, so because the most changes are going to happen like in the render architecture, um, if you have like a lot of custom renders and that kind of stuff, that might hurt because there are things definitely going to change there. So, um, you know, brace for impact. If you have stuff going on there, then it might be worth to check out what they're doing in that um, area of the code so you can maybe anticipate on that. Um, but other than that, hopefully it will be good. You will just install the new NuGets and <laughs> magically everything works. Okay, that's not going to happen, but you know, a man can dream. And then the last question, I cannot stress this enough. Is it worth building Xamarin Forms applications when it's being phased out when .NET MAUI is coming? Um, sure, sorry, future Gerald here. I just mentioned while editing this video that it said in the question also, is it worth building .NET MAUI applications now? Um, while you technically might be able to do that, if you scrape all the bits together that's needed for that, I would highly recommend against it right at this time. Because, you know, not all the bits are there in .NET 5 for you to use. .NET MAUI is still a repository that is, you know, heavily undergoing changes um, every day, every week. They're still planning on how to do things. So while you are maybe able to get that all together, cloning repositories, building it yourself. Um, I would not recommend it because, you know, if you're going to start using that in your apps and their NuGets are going to come in and you, then you have a completely other migration path to worry about as well. Okay, that's just something that I wanted to add. Now on to the rest of the explanation. Valid question, because you know you are worried about what's going to happen in like the next year. So first things first, we already know the Xamarin Forms is um, phasing out like whenever um, .NET MAUI goes GA, which is now planned for .NET 6, which is November, 2021. Um, but then you will still have a year of um, extra support. So that means no big features, no massive updates, but just, you know, bug fixes, hot fixes to take out the um, blocking issues for you. Um, so there will still be stability improvements, bug fixes, all the things. That will happen for another year. So Xamarin Forms is supported until November 2022. Um, so, you know, you have a long road ahead of you. So, you know, think to yourself, like, how does that work with my requirements? Is my app going to live that long? Is my app going to be short lived? Um, and of course, how complex is my app going to be? Yes, if you're maybe like building this really complex app, then it is worth looking into the progress that the team is making. Um, see if you can identify like the areas that I just mentioned, like, is it going to use custom renders a lot? Um, then you might want to look into uh, what is happening in that space and maybe see if you can anticipate on the changes there. Um, but you know, it, it is definitely worth it because if I go back to the beginning of this video, then we have um, everything will stay in there. Uh, nothing is taken away from you. So all the knowledge, all the investments that you do, um, uh, most of the code that you're writing today will be reusable whenever .NET MAUI is coming, um, at least with like, you know, minor changes, um, it should be able to get it up and running again. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, you have to do it with all the information and combining that with the resources and the requirements and the, 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 the vision that you have yourself. But if it's up to me, yes, definitely. You should just start working with Xamarin Forms today and you will have a transition path to .NET MAUI. 
By the way, thank you, Leonard Harris, for asking this question. Please keep them coming. This is great stuff. This is something that I can base more videos on so I can, you know, um, help you out, answer them, take away any doubt you might have. And um, you're doing awesome. Thank you so much. If you haven't done so yourself, comment, like, ding that bell, subscribe. Is there something else that you can do? I don't know. Maybe do a dance. Do all of the things. Then there was this question, which is not really a question, but more a remark that they like my shirt and they wanted to print them themselves. Um, well, you can of course print them, them yourselves, but I don't know if the design is somewhere out there, um, but you can just order this shirt. You can order it, you can do it yourself. Just go over to that .NET Foundation store, um, link in the video description below. You can get them in, I think, four colors, which is really cool. The shipping, depending on where you are, might be a little bit steep, but you know, you can get those shirts, you can throw a couple of monkeys in there. Um, you can have all those awesome stuff. So go check that out. No affiliate, no sponsoring, no anything, just helping you out with some awesome shirts. In fact, I'm thinking of giving away a couple whenever I reach, I don't know, let's say 2K, 5K? Let's make it interesting, let's make it 5K. So I will be giving away a couple of them, a couple of monkeys at 5K. Let me know in the comments if that's going to work for you. Um, and let's make it happen that I get there as fast as possible. So, you know, you can get some shirts. Next good question is this one. What is going to happen with the Xamarin Community Toolkit whenever .NET MAUI comes? That is also a question that comes up a lot. Um, and the short answer is, I don't know. Because, you know, the Xamarin Community Toolkit, for the ones who don't know, there's more content coming on that later, so don't worry about that. But that is a toolkit that is filling the gap right now between like Xamarin Forms 5 and .NET MAUI. Because, um, you know, with Xamarin Forms 5, there's not going to be like the major development for a little while. So no big features, no new controls. Um, and of course, all the experimentals had to move out because, you know, whenever Xamarin Forms 5 stops developing, there's not going to be a new major version. Um, and the experimentals would have to live there forever and ever. That would be a little bit funny. So, you know, they had to decide like, is this control stable enough to lose that experimental flag? Um, then it will stay in, no experimental flag all things are good but for some other stuff you know they had to decide like okay this is not mature enough uh, we can't keep the experimental flag on so we have to move it out which would be a major breaking change for the people who are already using that um, of course it is an experimental flag so you know some things are to be expected. But to accommodate that, we came up with the Xamarin Community Toolkit, where all the experimental stuff is moving to, plus a lot extra. Because, you know, it's the Community Toolkit, so it's your toolkit. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, we have added a bunch of behaviors or converters that as everyone is using in their example. Um, so effects, all those kinds of things that you keep pasting between new projects, we've got that all in our community toolkit and we're adding more and more. So if you have like that converters or things that you're looking for or that you find yourself pasting over and over again, uh, propose it to us by an issue and um, we will look at it and hopefully we can take it up into the toolkit and everyone can benefit from that. Now, beyond on that we're also working on new controls so we have in there at the time of recording the tab view again Javier who is doing incredible stuff um, has created a fully customizable tab view so that's the tab bar like in the bottom and you're now not anymore stuck with like the the design of that iOS or Android as has specified for you. No, you can do crazy stuff. You can do rounded corners, floating things, that bigger middle button that you always wanted. It's all in there. You can do crazy, crazy stuff with that. This link, this video is going to have massive amount of links down there, um, but go check it out. It's somewhere in there. I'll make sure to link it. Um, so we're doing all kinds of crazy stuff and we're also taking uh, all the experimental stuff. So we also have now uh, the C sharp markup stuff that is in there. Um, we have taken the expander view and we have one more that I can think of right now. So no worries, but all that stuff is going to the Xamarin community toolkit. So back to the question, what's going to happen whenever .NET MAUI lands? Um, I don't know. This is very tailored to our situation at hand because um, you know this transition period. Um, the way I like to think of it is that there may be will be a .NET MAUI toolkit, which can have like all the same um, converters and tools and whatever. Well, it doesn't make sense to duplicate all that. So we have to think about the logistics there. But what I also really want to do for the community toolkit is to make it about the community. So to make it more like a entry level project where everyone can feel safe to contribute to, um, to ask questions, to, you know, um, add some stuff. And then what we can do with that is create an environment where we have like this kind of experimental 
whole package, if you will. So not more experimental flags, because you know now with .NET MAUI in being in the .NET framework, have you ever seen experimental flags in the .NET framework? Didn't think so. So you know that can't happen there. So it would be great to have like a .NET MAUI toolkit as well, which will be like you know a, a little lower threshold for people to start with contributing. Start contributing there first before you start contributing to like the core .NET MAUI project, which can be a little bit daunting. I know I've been there. Um, but so you know that that is one goal I want to achieve. And the other thing that uh, comes together with that is we can have controls in there, um, see how people like them. See see how they mature, see how we can shape that API surface. Um, and then whenever that control is good enough, whenever it's grown up, we can put it out there in the world, in the wide, wide interwebs, put it into .NET MAUI, uh, make it a first class citizen. And um, you know, how cool is that, that you start contributing with like a, a small control um, and that grows and grows and grows. Other people come in, other ideas, they will grow it and it, it grows up to go into the .NET MAUI core project. How cool is that? So there's another couple of things in here, the comments by Josiah Mahachi. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. Um, so he's saying like, why is the name changing at all? I don't know. Um, you know, everyone likes to freshen up, I think, the Xamarin Forms name because it still has some kind of image of being, you know, old, dusty data entry applications. And we're far beyond that point. It has evolved to something that can do much, much more. Um, so, you know, it, to get rid of that image and maybe some marketing fluff in there, I don't know. Um, so that's why they might be changing the name. But um, who knows what might happen in the future? And then there was another question, what will happen to Essentials? Uh, maybe I didn't touch upon that too clearly. Xamarin Essentials, which you can find all the APIs right here on this channel. Check out the playlist right here or here probably. Um, so you can find all the APIs there and they are going to move to, I think system devices is now the thing that they're looking at um, to, you know, so it just goes up um, in the .NET Core framework um, just as .NET MAUI will be. So it will be part of the core APIs. There will not be a separate essential thing. It will just be APIs in the .NET framework just you know, like you have to string to whatever um, all the things that are in the .NET framework right now. So, so you know, for us Xamarin developers, I think it's like kind of a shift in mindset um, that it will now just be one big framework with all the things. Um, and it doesn't matter anymore what the thing is you're building, but you just target a specific um, project, uh, a specific platform. So web, mobile, anything else, you can all do it with this. So it's going to be crazy, cool, and amazing. Did I already mention the monkey fest thing? I think I did. So uh, there was a couple of great sessions on .NET 6, the new renderer, .NET MAUI, all the things. Links below. At the time of recording, um, the videos are not out yet. I kind of assume that they will be available for you to rewatch. So uh, keep your eye on that. And I hope this answered all the questions that you might have. If not, let me know in the comments and I will be making another video or, you know, maybe I'll just um, get out my keyboard and write a little thing to you, depending on how big it will be. Um, if you haven't done that already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll be seeing you for my next one. Bye-bye.